Hello traders, FX Pip Collector here. Today is Wednesday, March 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I still think this is all part of a wave three. I think this is all an uptrend right here, which is not even probably close to being over. It should end up looking something like that, most likely taking out the high of the previous trend and ending up looking something like that to make a one, two, three, four, and five. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see this last correction, impulsive down wave A, corrective up wave B, impulsive down wave C. I definitely consider that respecting the 50%. Nice impulsive move up afterwards. I do think that is the end of a correction, and I do believe it will end up continuing the uptrend to finish off a wave 3, eventually making a wave 4 and a wave 5. So let's take it down even further to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can start to break this correction down. What's important to see is that this downtrend right here, the wave C, the structure broke, which pretty much proves that the wave C really is over. I think that we are in an uptrend now, and I do believe it will just keep on making higher highs, higher lows to make that pattern like I was showing on the weekly time frame. So let's take it down even further to the 4-hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, definitely very impulsive up. Now one thing you have to realize is that the trend is up on basically every time frame, telling me that this wave B that we think we're going to get very easily could turn into the continuation of the uptrend. So luckily for a wave B we should be looking for logs on sort of time frames anyways, so if it does stretch out to the continuation of an uptrend, we should be looking for longs in a way, so it really shouldn't matter. But it does seem like it should make an A, B, C, or B, and then go down again to make a C, and then head up before it heads up to make the continuation of the uptrend. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, you can start to see the lower lows, lower highs that make up what looks like a wave A. I still think there's a good chance this move up will turn into an A, B, C, or B, just like I was showing on the higher time frames, and eventually head back down to make a C before it really does continue the uptrend. But like I was just explaining on the four hour time frame, sometimes you, what you think is a wave B will just keep on trending up and turn into the continuation of the uptrend. So definitely be aware of that. Definitely be looking for longs on shorter time frames in a ways, so it really shouldn't matter to us whether it's a way B or whether it's continuing the uptrend, because either scenario we're looking for longs in this move up. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.